This is a short recording on how you can place page numbers and graphics and other elements into your left and right margin areas as you see in this image on the screen. The first thing that you need to understand is that everything that you want to put into your margins, your top and bottom margins are more common, needs to start in one of the margins. So to get something into your left and right margins, you simply enter the top or bottom margin. I'll double click here in the top margin. And now I could put something in the top margin if I wanted to. But I want to demonstrate how to put something into the left and right margins. So let's start with a uh, fresh document. I'm going to double click in the top margin. And now when I want to insert something into the margin I simply you know, choose whatever element I want so let's start with something simple I'll insert a let's say a picture I'll just grab some picture let's go ahead and get a picture of a flower just pick this one say insert and it just inserted that image which I'll shrink it just inserted it into my top margin as you might have noticed and so let's go ahead and make that a reasonable size for one of our side margins and so here's my image sitting there in the top margin choosing the layout option I can specify that I want a nice tight layout and as soon as I choose this nice tight layout it allows me to drag that image any place where I'd like to put it I mean I actually could put it anywhere on the page but let's just put it over here in the in the right in the left margin so now I've dropped that into the left margin. Let's go ahead and see how that looks when I click out of the margin area. I'll just click back into the document. So there's that image. Now to show that it's actually in the margin area, let's go ahead and insert a new page. I'll just come down here and <clears throat> insert a new page. And let's scroll on down, and there it is on the second page also. So that definitely is something that's in the margin area as part of the header and footers. Now let's go ahead and see how we would add a page number. So again, I'll click up here in my top margin. You could click in the bottom margin, but you need to simply get into your margin, your header footer area. In fact, you'll notice in my toolbar it says header footer tools. So let's go ahead and insert a, uh, let's, how about we insert a text box. So I'll come over here and choose the text box option. And just say I want to draw a text box so I can draw it anywhere I wish. And I'll draw a text box over here in the right margin. And I'll make it plenty big. So there's a large text box. And now let's put some text in it. So for instance, I want to say page X of Y, right? So I'll say page. And now I need to insert a page number. So you'll notice I do have the header footer tools because I'm still in the header footer even though I'm in the right margin so I'll go to the header footer tools and specify that I want to insert a page number in the current position for the cursor and we'll just insert a plain page number so there's that and let's say I want to insert the number of pages so I'll say page one of <clears throat> now at this point I can insert you'll find pretty much anything from quick parts so I'll go to the quick parts option again that's on the header footer tools go to the quick parts menu and choose the field option the field option gives you access to many defined fields in Microsoft Word and the field I'm looking for is the number of pages so I'm going to scroll down here and you'll see num pages there and I could do all kinds of formatting but I'm just going to stick with the basic format so there's num pages and of course it put a two in there now this, I could live with just that, but I'm kind of thinking I like to have it go sideways. And so now you'll notice I'm in header footer tools, but I can change over to drawing tools. And in the drawing toolbar, there's a, an option for text direction. So I'm going to choose the text direction. And you could go either way here. I'm going to go rotate all text 90 degrees. And so now it's reading up and down like that. Now I'd like to make that bigger, so I'm going to control A to select, oh that didn't do it, control A, select all, and it's not selecting it, uh, maybe it is selecting it, oh there we go, Oop. well let's just try making the font bigger, oh there we go, it was all selected. 
So I've selected all the text, so I'm just making it bigger so it stands out. Maybe make it bold. And so now I have my page number. Now this text box of course has a border and maybe I don't want that border. So I'll go to the drawing tools and choose the shape outline and say no outline. And so now I have a page number and number of pages in my right margin. Well, let's see how that looks. So I'll click out of the margin area and let's scroll down and look at the next page. And indeed, there it is on the next page. So anytime you want to insert anything in the header footer area, you can also insert it into the body of the document anywhere you wish. This is one way that you can do a watermark. It's pretty simple. I'll show you how we could insert something else. We could go ahead and get into the header footer area. Then we could insert and choose anything we want, actually. You know, you can do some word art and just pick some word art here. Notice, there it is. Now watch what happens, of course, when I drag it down on the page. There it is. And it is now in the header footer context. And so when I click back into my main document, there it is on the page. And if I scroll down, you'll notice it's on every page. So this is a way that you can insert elements into your margin area, onto the page itself, anywhere you wish. Now remember, if you're going to insert a graphic, you would definitely want to do the wrap. So let's go ahead and insert one more graphic so you can see that. So insert online picture. Let's um, say cats. Find a nice picture of some cats. That's a cute little cat. Insert that picture. And it's great big, so I'm going to resize it. Now remember, I'm in the header footer area, so I can put this picture anywhere I wish. But if I want to drag that into the right margin or left margin area or anywhere on the page, choose the layout options and go to the tight layout. Now I can drag that image anywhere on the page. I'll slide it down here to that margin area, and there we go. Now let's see how this looks with print preview. And it looks pretty much what you would expect. All those various elements that I inserted are on every page in my document. There we are on page two, and you can see it says page two of two over there on the right. So this is a nice technique for adding elements into your margin area pretty f with a lot of flexibility.